Drive IRM update, more control for file owners and shared drive managers. Now, this one is not the most exciting update in itself, but it's got a broader context, which I wanted to share with you. So what this lets you do, now I don't know what IRM is because I have not used it all that much myself. It looks like IRM is related to DLP, just to confuse you more, which means data loss prevention. And that's Google's enterprise feature only available on the enterprise plans, which lets you define a criteria of certain types of data and you can perform actions with that data. For example, that data might be personal information, it might be a credit card number, it might be a date of birth, it might be a tax file number. And if you're a business that's working with any of those kinds of data, you may have some kind of legislation or you know auditing or compliance requirements to ensure that data is handled properly, right? And it doesn't accidentally disappear out of your business. So DLP or data loss prevention allows you to set a policy inside your workspace admin and say, hey, if someone puts a credit card number in plain text in an email, quarantine that email. If someone puts someone's tax file number in chat, quarantine that chat, don't send it. And it will flag things for admins and you know stop that data being saved in plain text, which protects your business and of course protects your customers as well. Now, IRM appears to be related to that. I've not gone, to, I, I don't know what IRM is or maybe it's just referring to something that was already there. Anyway, but the feature is to allow you to restrict what someone can do with a file once you've shared the file with them, right? If you've ever shared a file with Google, there's, there's kind of like a little bit of a thought in the background of your mind of like, oh, what is this person gonna do with my file, right? Because you're not sitting over their shoulder watching them in an office. They could copy the file, print the file, rip off your business, disappear. They can do all kinds of things. So it's important that you protect files when you share them. And one way of doing that is if you have a Google shared drive set up, is you can set these policies. You can say, hey, who can download, copy or print files? And I thought this was available on an individual file level for quite some time. But what this looks like it allows you to do is using uh, information rights management, which is one of the enterprise features related to DLP and lets you restrict things for, I assume, files with certain types of data in them. So let me help you get your head around that. I'm gonna start from the top. So use DLP rules, so data loss prevention rules, to control what happens with certain kinds of data in your business. IRM for Drive, this feature, appears to be letting you set a policy that then restricts access to what people can do with a file if it's got that kind of sensitive data in it. Good idea? Yes, great idea. But here's the context that I wanted to share with you. If you've set up Drive correctly, so inside your Google Drive, you should be using shared drives. And we've got 10,000 videos on the channel on how to set up and configure shared drives. But inside a shared drive settings, you can do the same thing here. And you can basically manage the options for the whole drive and for anyone who has access to that drive. Now, I prefer this. And look, it doesn't hurt to set a policy for every one of the files in your business, but I prefer this setting it at a drive level and then making sure your staff put every one of their files into shared drives. Doesn't mean it's necessarily shared with people all over the world, but it's in a particular drive with a particular set of permissions. Because what this does is it means that blanket settings right across the drive, doesn't matter what's in there, you'll be able to control these features here, downloading, copying, printing. So two ways to do that, not a bad new feature that Google has released there. If you liked this video, we've got plenty more on the channel covering this topic and much, much more.